Alright, what's up guys? Today I've got a review for you and it's something that I've been wanting to buy for a very long time and I really hope you enjoyed this comprehensive review of it. No, it's not my pre preheat 15 watt Lambie Mystique fluorescent light fixture. No, it's something else. But before I do that, let me turn this on for a little extra illumination. Over there you see my old floor lamp. Every now and then I use it whenever I need extra light in my room. There's my ceiling fan. Of course, I'm not going to be using the light on that, but it's just going to be there because, well, I'll explain later. Let's turn this on. Okay, let me pull it close to the starter because nowadays, even though this is an argon starter, this is one of the lowest starters. Usually starters like this don't make noise, but now within a couple of weeks, well, just a couple of weeks ago, this fixture started making noise, so let's turn it on. There we go. All right, so here's what I wanted to review. Let's move this garbage out of the way. Yeah, a box. No, I'm kidding. I'm not reviewing a box. Let's check to see what's inside. There we go. That is what I really wanted for such a very long time. Four Westinghouse 13 watt magnetic fluorescent PL bulb adapters. Oh, crap. Yeah, one of them I opened it. These two I've not opened yet. There's another one I've already opened early this morning because I wanted to test it out so bad I couldn't just wait. You know what I mean? So, yeah, let's take a look at this box. They don't have many of these left, but they have a good portion of them. These will last a very long time. These are good quality, so let me just, like I checked the reviews on uh, eBay, and they were pretty good reviews, solid. If the camera chooses to focus, there we go. All right. Pause if you want to read. I don't know if you can hear me or not. If you can, great, if not, oh well. Here's the ballast itself. See, as I'm touching the base right now, you can hear the rattling. That's how bit much the ballast weighs. It's pretty heavy. It's about maybe like half a pound, I'd say. I could be wrong. This is caution to use in dry location only, not for use in luminaires controlled by dimmers. So if this fan over here or downstairs or any light fixture in your house was dimmable, this is not a good option. Preheat lights and dimmers do not mix. But I used to have dimmers, but now I don't, thankfully. So I could put this in my fan if I wanted to. See, or totally enclosed recessed fixtures. Kind of like the lights outside. Well, some pe some of the houses have those lights, some don't. Alright, Westinghouse. Let's see what this bulb was made. Not bulb, this ballast. Alright, let's see something. Doesn't even say where it was made. Oh well, we're just gonna assume it was made in the United States. But let me tell you something about this base. You could use a quad bulb, meaning you could use a four tube bulb, but I'm gonna be using two tube bulbs. Like this one, for example, and this one right here. I've got more bulbs in my Never mind. Sorry guys, I just had a little bit of a brain fart there. As I was saying, these are two of the bulbs I'm gonna be testing out in these, um, what you might call it, these magnetic ballasts. So yeah, let's take a look at the first one. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. It's a Sylvania Dulux S13 watt, made in China. This one is also made in China. The difference between the two is the ones with the big letters. Big letter is warm white and small letters cool white. Now, inside my trusty bulb pouch, as you can see, 216. I know I'm not supposed to be awake this late, but I kind of want to knock this video since I'm still awake. 
Just got back out from the night with friends. Here's the third bulb. And here's the fourth. Alright, so let's take a look at each bulb. You guys remember this 13 watt black light bulb that I purchased a couple years ago that I said wouldn't start in my old uh, pre in my old fluorescent light fixture, the hot light. Yeah. So this is that bulb because this is magnetic balanced, so it won't start in that. So because of that, I tried converting my hot light fixture from electron to preheat. Of course, that didn't work. Ballast I bought was too big, and since I cut the ballast out. I gotta buy a new fixture. So I'm planning on buying a Otley Executive 13 watt fixture. It looks kind of like the wing shade, except it's a little bit different. But the good thing is it supports preheat bulbs. So I can have a preheat desk light and a preheat fluorescent light fixture. The desk light, of course, is the Otley, and the preheat fluorescent fixture is the Lampy. So as you can see right here, this is the only light I have on my desk. The other one I put it somewhere else, but I'm gonna use the wing shade lamp to harvest parts from it. You understand? All right, so let's go back to this. So the difference between these four bulbs, it's obvious. This one's a little rounded squared. This is more squared. This is like a two corner. And this of course has no labels on the silver portion of this bulb. And you can see the bottom, it's like off white, but the other ones it's like actual white, like pure white. I mean. So this is like 2700K, 4100K, not to say about the BLB, but this one is my personal favorite. Right. So I don't know what BZ stands for, 13 watt, 7000K. So this is a little bit more blue than my preheat fluorescent fixture. The GE bulb that I installed, it's a 6500K bulb. Well, this is 700k, which is slightly more day daylight. So let's put this down. So let me guys, let me tell you guys the price. Five bucks, I got this off of Amazon. Eight dollars, I bought this from AutoZone. Three dollars from Lowe's, and two fifty from Lowe's. So without further ado, guys, let's test them out. And as the test subject. Using my ceiling fan because I have three bulbs right now that I'm going to test out. I'll test out all four downstairs. But for now, let's do this. Now let's move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'm just filming bulbs, I know. Don't worry, guys. The wait shall end soon. Alright. And yes, you guys must be wondering hey, Aaron. How the hell are you gonna put medium base bulbs, medium base adapters, excuse me, in your candelabra base ceiling fan? Well, I have an answer to that question. Let me just finish this up and I'll show you how. All right, let's take this one out. your question. And a bag of tricks over here. Just a bag from Home Depot. Just gonna toss that out of the way. To candle or candelabra to medium base adapter using dry location only that's not going to be a problem here's the information made in china max wattage 60 watts and this is 13 so it should all be good i'm going to put down the candle while i open this because i'm not going to be able to do it one-handed so The 
reason why I bought three is because all the candelabra based light fixtures in my house have three bulbs in it. Except for the um, chandelier in my hallway. The three, the three candelabra bulb fixtures are the ones in my grandma's room, my room, and the hallway. So, let's put this in. And I'm going to repeat this for the other two. So, alright, let's get the cam on. Let's get on the bed over here. house magnetic ballast adapters so now time to put in the bulbs this one's gonna be tested last so don't worry about that first up the big go bulb all right perfect it's locked in place yeah, and it looks kind of silly the way the lights are sticking out, but it is what it is. Warm white, we'll put over here. I'm going to try to reach as far as I can. First combined startup ever. Nice. Oh. The hell? Alright. Hopefully this one don't have any problems. Yeah, for some reason, this one ain't going in all the way. Alright. Hopefully this one's all good. Alright. So bulbs are in place. Yeah, I know this looks kind of funny, but yeah, gotta work, work with what you get. So, here comes the best part. Gonna shut off all these lights and turn this on. I already started, tested out that ballast earlier. That one works. I don't know about these two. These two, it's the first time. So let's turn off this light right here and turn it on. Here we go. Wow. That was pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie. And yeah, you can hear the uh, ballast running on each fixture. Right. So yeah three different color temperatures. The front one, the big go bulb is 7000K, which is pure daylight. The first Sylvania with the small letters, 4100K cool white. And the other Sylvania with the big letters, 2700K, which is warm white. So you got the trifecta. Three different color temperatures. Pretty unique, eh? We're gonna start this up one more time. And then we're gonna do each of them individually. Let's do the big go bulb. And don't worry guys, I will be using these bases pretty frequently. If I'm not gonna be using the adapters, I'm gonna be using these bulbs in my executive hot light preheat light fixture when I buy it. I'm probably not gonna review it for a while because I'm gonna have schools, but it is what it is. All right, let's do this one. Okay. do the warm light. There we go. 
hold them off of the road, and then we're gonna go downstairs. Hold up. All right, I'll go downstairs and test out all four. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's turn this on. All right, now we turn this off. Okay, so, like I said, I'm gonna test out the black light. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna the volume. Oh, crap. Yeah, the problem is this particular base right here. I gotta be careful with installing bulbs because this one's really loose. The other two are fine. It's just this one has problems. See how quickly the bulb came out when I pulled it out of the base? Yeah, that's not good. So, yeah. Give me a couple seconds, guys. I'm gonna take the other bases out. I'm gonna test the black light along in this. And then afterwards, I'm gonna test out all four downstairs. So, stay tuned. All right, y'all, I'm gonna make this quick because my battery's about to die. Here's the black light. I already took out the other two bases, but I left this one in, so. This is my OG base, the first base I've ever opened. I can tell it's the first base because I cleaned it. It's cleaned up very nicely, but the other two are like pretty dirty, so. So the thing is, the two Sylvania bulbs that I got from Lowe's for like two to three dollars a piece, those have neon starters. The Baco bulb, that's pure daylight, that I got from AutoZone for like eight bucks, that's Argon. And this is also Argon. This is a unknown company on Amazon. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this light off. I'm gonna turn on the black light. There you go. Look at that. The amount of space this light covers. Absolutely ridiculous. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at my poster. Everything's glowing green. Alright, let's pull it close over here. I don't know if you can see the starter or not. If you can, great. If not, oh well. Turn this light back on. I'm gonna shut this one off. Alright guys, that's it for the preview up in my room. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna fire up all four and I really hope you enjoy. But first, before I fire up all four, let me pull out the last piece. Hopefully this one is clean just like the first. Now this one's kind of old looking, but I'm pretty sure it'll work just as fine. So yeah, just give me, guys, please give me a couple seconds. I'll get back to you in a few. So without further ado, guys, stay tuned again. One thing I forgot to show you before going downstairs, this is the box that I got the Baco bulb in. The reason why I'm holding on to this is so, let's say I run out of space, I can always put one of the bulbs here. It's better. Alright, I've shown you what I needed to show you, so let's get on with the next scene. Alright guys, here's that downstairs fan I've been telling you about. I've installed all four bulbs. Here they are. This is the warm white Sylvania. Cool white Sylvania. like with all four lights over here. Here we go. Here's another rear light switch. Here we go. Here 
the start of, of all four together. Let's get it over with. All right, one more. Thank you guys so much for watching this sort of comprehensive review of my four Westinghouse 13 watt magnetic fluorescent PL bulb adapters. I'm really glad I bought them because now if I wanted to install these PL bulbs in my medium base or candelabra base light fixtures, Thanks to those adapters I bought from Home Depot earlier, they cost like probably like a buck and a half a piece. So I got a pretty good deal out of them. And these bases too. I paid $20, $5 a piece for each of them, plus $26.80 for shipping and handling. But it was pretty worth it. I'm very happy, excuse me, with the bases. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy, that's okay. I mean, I'll make better videos in the future, but this is the best I can come up with with the time I have. So without further ado, guys, you've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll make more fluorescent preheat light videos soon. That's it, guys. Remember, uh, remember to have a great day and enjoy the rest of your summer. Or whenever this video goes up, enjoy the rest of your day. That's better.